day, Shepard. Nut, what do you want? Smack you in the mouth because of Ivy. You really think you can? You asshole. I'll finish you off. Well then, let's fight. I'll turn you into a sheep. Stop. Stop. You win. Leave Ivy alone. Do you understand? Yes, sure, yes. I'll leave her alone. With a grin like that on your face, Gromar must have given you his blessing. That he did. Then let me in on it. Ivy wants to go with me to Argan. There is a war going on, my friend. That's no place for lovers. When you started to teach me, you promised to bring me to Argan one day. Back then, you were going to travel alone. Now Ivy wants to accompany you. You were a good teacher. I am absolutely capable of protecting her. You are able to protect her? <laughs> Prove it. Do you want to fight me again? No. I have a bundle of rare herbs here for Lyrka. Take it to her. You want me to go to Lyrka? The witch? I... I'd have to cross the dark forest. They say the wildest animals on the island live there. You don't have to go. You can stay on Fesher with Ivy and her sheep. Give me the bundle. I'll take it to Lyrka. All right, here you are, and here's a key, too. Use it to open the door at the end of my cave. Go east until you find a path. Follow it to the northwest. It will lead you to Lyrka's hut.
from the dark forest. <laughs> I'm not afraid. Might be, might not be. My nose is telling me. Might be. Diego sent me. Yes, I know. <laughs> I bring you herbs. Give them to me. Here are the herbs. I'll leave then. Leave? No. You aren't here just because of the herbs. Diego didn't mention anything else. Didn't he, eh? 
But he promised he'd send you. Yes, he surely did. Why would he? <laughs> because I asked him to. You? Why? Because I sensed something right after they found you. Something that must be awakened. Sensed? Something that must be awakened? I don't understand any of this. Something slumbers in your chest. Some power. Some magic power. <laughs> Nothing I know of. Yes, yes. I can sense it. It must only be awakened. How? Just close your eyes. Good. I trust you. See, I'm I'm closing my eyes. Yes. That's very good. Awake again. How long have I been sleeping? A couple of hours. What? The awakening of magic takes its time. Can I cast spells now? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe only make use of magical scrolls. Where are we here? In a cave under the dark forest. I... I know this cave. From your dreams? Yes, that's right. <laughs> what are we doing here? Want to do me a favor? A favor? Lone vermin are everywhere in this cave. Loads of them, eh? Steel alone won't suffice if you're planning on killing them all. Lone vermins retract into their shells, just like turtles. <laughs> but you can prevent that using lightning, eh? With lightning? Here. <laughs> Take this magical scroll. Kill the lone vermin. <laughs> they make my trees sick. And don't forget the queen. All right, I won't. If you don't have any more scrolls, come to me. I will give you new ones. <laughs> but don't you waste them. Have you got some more magic scrolls? You still have enough yourself. So you're back.
Have you got some more magic scrolls? Lousy aim! <laughs> so what? <laughs> Here, take some!
Come with me, my friend. I will take you to Argan. Avenge myself upon Robar the Third and his cursed paladins. You wouldn't know a sword from a toothpick. They'd mince you. You want Ivy's death to go unavenged? And what about that of my mother and my friends? No, but what if there was a way to avenge yourself without storming right into your death? Hmm. Let's hear it. It is said that there is an ancient temple somewhere in the mountains. They say there is a blessed anvil there. Robar's paladins search for the temple because they want to use the anvil to forge weapons for their campaign against Argan. I see. And I should interfere with their plans. Exactly. And if the anvil really does exist, forge yourself something to speed your vengeance. Where should I start looking for the temple? On the hill back there. In the Cleaved Maiden Tavern, you'll find a mage by the name of Duranis there. He knows a lot of the old stories. Talk to him. Maybe he'll have heard of the temple. How do you know about the Paladin's plans? When I was still at Robar's court, I always kept a watchful eye on Lord Hagen and his men. And many a maid servant of the Paladins kept an ear open for me. So who is this Lord Hagen? He commands the Paladins and is a member of Robar's High Council. Will you join me? No. You need to learn to stand on your own two feet. I'll be sailing on to Stuart. When you arrive in Stuart, talk to the Landlord at the Cliff Tavern. He'll know where to find me. <laughs> <laughs> 